Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we study the normal distribution, which is the probability distribution of a continuous random variable. If we look at the graph of a normal distribution, its shape is just like a bell. That is why it is also called a bell shaped distribution. Mathematically, we define it as a continuous random variable X is said to have the normal distribution if its density function is defined by this one. Here mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation of the normal distribution. Mu can take any value from the real numbers. Similarly, sigma can take any value of the real number. But if we fix the value of mu to be zero and the value of sigma equal to one, then we represent x minus mu divided by sigma by z. And in that case, it is called standard normal distribution and the above density function will become f of z is equal to 1 over 2 pi under the root e power minus z square by 2. In the previous classes, we have seen the definition of cumulative distribution function, which is same like this one. But we have denoted the cumulative distribution function by f of x. Here, in the case of normal random variable, we denote it by pi. And pi of z is equal to probability of z less than or equal to some number. It is equal to integration from minus infinity to z, f of z dz. But in the case of standard normal, probability distribution, the density function f of z is 1 over 2 pi under the root e power minus z square over 2. Now, to find this probability, we need to evaluate this integral. This integral can be evaluated by using the numerical techniques or some substitution. In other words, it cannot be evaluated by the usual simple techniques. Now, look at the probability of z when it is between a and b. Then that is equal to integration from a to b f of z. And again, f of z is that function. So we need to integrate this function if we want to find the probability of the standard normal random variable z between a and b. And again, this evaluation is not so easy or we cannot evaluate it by simple techniques. That is why mathematicians have developed a table of normal distribution and there are some properties. So instead of using these techniques to find probabilities of the standard normal random variable, we have to remember some properties. There are only four rules. The first rule is that to find probability of z less than or equal to a, that is equal to pi of a. And now the value of pi of a can be obtained from the table of normal distribution, which I shall explain at the end of solving a problem. Rule number two is to find the probability of z greater than a. This is equal to one minus pi of a. Again, we shall obtain the value of pi of a from the table of a normal distribution. To find probability of z between a and b, this is equal to pi of b minus pi of a. The last property is this is a symmetric distribution. It means on both sides of the mean, the normal curve will be similar. So pi of minus a is equal to one minus pi of a. To solve problems of normal distribution, the students are advised 
to memorize these four properties and understand the use of normal distribution table. Let us solve an example. Use table of normal distribution to find these probabilities. To solve part number one, probability of z is less than or equal to 0, 1.05, we use the first property. According to that property, this is equal to pi of 1.05, and this value now can be obtained from the table of normal distribution, which is 0 0.8531. To solve part number two, we use second property. The probability of z greater than this point is equal to one minus pi of 1.05. This value can be obtained from the table of normal distribution, which is same like above. And after simplification, we get the solution. To solve the third part here, a is 0 0.01 and B is 2.51. So we use the third property. According to that property, this is equal to pi of B minus pi of A. And now we use the table of normal distribution to find the value of pi of 2.51, which is this one, minus then the value, of, again, we use the table of normal distribution to find the value of pi of 0 0.01, which is this one. After simplification, we get the solution. In the last part, we use the fourth property. According to that property, this is equal to pi of minus 2.55, which is equal to one minus pi of plus 2.55. Then we use the table of normal distribution and get the value of this thing. After simplification, we get the solution. Now let us see how we take those values from the table of normal distribution. This is the table of normal distribution. The first value of z was 1.05. So you can see in the first column, we have the values of z and in this column we have the values of pi of z and so on. So let us find the value of z equal to 1.05. So 1.05 is this value and in front of that value we have this number. So pi of 1.05 is equal to 0.8531. The next value is z equal to 0 0.01. So when z is equal to 0 0.01, in front of the eight, the value of pi is this one. So pi of 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.5040. The third value was z is equal to 2.55. So let us find the value of z which is equal to 2.55. And we can see in front of that, the value of pi is given. So pi of 2.55 is equal to 0 0.9946. The cumulative distribution function for general normal random variable x is given by this formula. Here, mu and sigma can take any value of the real number. But in the case of standard normal random variable, mu and sigma are fixed. Similarly, to find probability of the general normal random variable x between a and b, we have to evaluate this integral. Now, this integral cannot be evaluated by using the usual or easy techniques of integration. And again, we depend on the table of normal distribution. So we must memorize four properties and use the table of normal distribution to solve the problem. 
the first property is probability of x less than or equal to a is equal to pi of a minus mu divided by sigma and probability of x greater than a is equal to 1 minus pi of a minus mu divided by sigma probability of x between a and b is equal to pi of b minus mu divided by sigma b is the largest number minus pi of a minus mu divided by sigma a is the smallest number and the last property is same here if we put mu equal to 0 and sigma equal to 1 then all these properties will become same as that of the standard normal random variable z let us solve an example let x be a random variable with mean 1.25 and standard deviation 0 0.5 Four six find probability of x between these two numbers. Now to find probability of x between these two numbers, we use the third property. The probability of x between a and b is given by this thing. Now b is here the largest number, which is equal to one point nine five. A is the smallest number, which is equal to one point seven five and the value of mu is given which is 1.25 the value of sigma that is 0 0.46 so we can now find the probability of x between these two numbers which is equal to pi of b minus mu divided by sigma minus pi of a minus mu divided by sigma by using calculator we can simplify this fraction, which is equal to 1.52, and then this fraction, which is equal to 1.09. Finally, we use the table of normal distribution. So pi of 1.52 from the table is equal to 0 0.9357. And the value of pi of 1.09 from the table is equal to 0 0.8621. Simplifying this, we get the solution. Example number three, the mean height of soldiers is 68 inches with a standard deviation of three inches. Assume the distribution of heights to be normal. How many soldiers in a regiment of 1000 would you expect to be over six feet tall? In this example, the value of mu is given, which is 68. The value of sigma is three, and we have to find probability of x greater than or equal to six feet, but the remaining data is in inches that is why we convert feet into inches so six feet is equal to 72 inches now we have to find probability of x greater than 72 inches according to the property this is equal to one minus probability of x less than or equal to 72 which is equal to one minus pi of 72 minus mu divided by sigma now we have to simplify this fraction and we get 1.33. Now we use the table of normal distribution. So from the table of normal distribution, the value of pi of 1.33 is 0 0.9082. And after simplification, we get that the probability of x greater than 72 is 0.0916. In the last step, we need to find number of all soldiers whose height is more than six feet. So we should multiply this probability with number of all soldiers in the regiment. And after multiplication, we get that there are approximately 92 soldiers 
whose height is more than six feet. That's all.